Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be making a burner for a propane forge that I'm going to be assembling. So the first thing to do is going to be make this burner and then next thing I'll do is uh, actually make the, uh, the forge for it to go in. I've been looking around for parts and I'll show you the parts that I found. It isn't the easiest thing to come up with these parts. Um, I got this hose at Rural King which is a tractor farm supply place. It is a 3 8 pipe fitting on each end and it's not flared. Most of the stuff I was finding was flared fittings and um, it makes it a little harder to find all the adapters to adapt it down. So this one is 3 8 pipe. Uh, it'll be easy to adapt to. It's a Mr. Heater brand. And then I also got a Mr. Heater brand uh, propane tank um, adapter that fits your 20 pound uh, propane cylinder off your gas grill. I'm reusing a regulator that I had laying around. And um, so it's going to go from the tank to the regulator and then to the hose. And then it's going to go to the actual pilot assembly for the propane to go into the burner. Um, this is 8 inch pipe. This was really difficult to find too. I find this at the Royal King also. I did not find it at Menards. Um, they didn't have pipe this small. And it is galvanized. So some of these pipe fittings are galvanized because I couldn't get them in uh, black pipe, which would be preferred. Um, but this T is small enough to fit inside the burner assembly. And uh, then I'm going to make my orifice. I'm going to drill out the end of this, pl this plug. And if it's not the correct size, then I can just take that plug out, redrill a new one, and uh, try a different size and see how it does. <clears throat> Here's my uh, burner assembly. I got uh, black pipe definitely on the end for the heat, but I've got uh, this is one and a half to three quarter, and then it goes back to one inch at the end. I'm going to cut these off and weld them together, so I've got a one inch tip. And uh, this actual T on this eighth inch pipe is actually small enough that it will fit inside of here, so I'm going to mount it inside this this um, coupling here to point down into the pipe so and then at the end of the coupling I'm thinking about making some kind of a air restriction or adjustable air intake on it so I've got a little bit of uh, work to do to put all these pieces together and a little bit of welding to do so let me put it together and see how it turns out okay here's the first problem that I ran into everything's going smooth till now um, here's my uh, burner tube and tip got it all welded together then I started messing with the uh, actual orifice assembly and my drill press and my all I have is half inch chucks on everything here and it will not chuck up a number 60 drill bit so my next thing was I know a lot of people use MIG welding tips tips so I got a uh, MIG welding tip. I measured it with calipers and it's exactly 250 thousandths quarter of an inch. So I drilled the actual plug with a quarter inch drill bit. Now what I'm going to do is it fits in there and it's it's like almost like a press fit. So I'm probably going to have to tap that in there. It's as far as I can get it to go. Push it on my thumb. I'll just have to tap it in the rest of the way. And uh, that should be good enough. And uh, Let's try that out. There you can see I got that pressed in there uh, the rest of the way. I got it so I can just barely see it coming through on the other side. I basically had to use something soft and press down with my body weight to get to go in there. So it's a very snug fit and that should work fine. Alright, here's my finished burner assembly. I've cut the uh, end off of it. I didn't put a uh, a damper or anything for the air on here yet. I want to see how it runs. Uh, I got three quarter to one inch. I welded that on. Um, it did seem like I could probably press fit that on there, or pound that on there with a hammer and make that a uh, tight fit. But uh, with it heating up, who knows if it would stay on there. So I tack welded that on there, or bead welded that on there. I got my one and a half inch to three quarter. I got my eighth inch pipes in there with my uh, MIG tip inside and it still wanted to rotate once I tighten this down so what I did is I put uh, 
on each side of each one of these pipes I put a spot weld on there and uh, that is this was galvanized so you need to do that where you can get the fumes away from you or or you have to wear a mask when you're welding on galvanized pipe so there's that now I just gotta hook this up to the uh, regulator assembly and uh, we'll be good to go and there's the regulator assembly got it already hooked to the tank got it hooked to the hose and to the burner and uh, it's ready to try out so let me go clamp this thing in and we'll try it out there she is running uh, a lot of things have changed I had to troubleshoot it try to get the best thing to work out for it so Well, here's the finished product. Um, from the first time we tried to light it, it uh, immediately wanted to go out because there's way too much air. So we had to put on a uh, air adjustment on it. So we put a one and a half inch bushing that goes to three quarter, and put a three quarter inch gate valve on there to adjust adjust the airflow. And then everything worked good. Was able to light it and adjust it, and it run up to about nine psi with a good mix. Of fuel to air ratio and then the next thing I did was I took the tip and I flared it in an anvil and you can't really tell too great probably from this video that the tip is flared but it made a dramatic increase in that last video we were running 15 psi um, so flaring the tip of the burner made a huge huge difference so there it is it can run at uh, 15 psi pretty good now I gotta make a forge to put it in thanks for watching okay turn the air down so you can hear this is a 18 psi and if I put the air to it this 18 psi does, does, is doing real well